Hello, hello. Thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you today's energy reading. This is for the collective. My loves, my loves, my loves. This is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. No gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms, he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer, pay it, no mind. Feel the energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. Guys, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, and donations. Thank you, each and every one, for your support of the channel. Okay, listen, you know, June 1st is right around the corner. I think everything is taken care of as far as the... Um, membership button to join because i know the last couple of days it was not there on some of the videos so if you don't see it today right next to the title let me know please okay uh, members there's two levels there's a leap of faith and then there's boomstick energy now boomstick energy will get the daily collective readings okay leap of faith are going to get to a week okay monday and friday Monday and Friday. They're, both of you will get tidbits. Of course, Leap of Faith will get more. Uh, we're going to do some giveaways. We're going to have lots and lots and lots of fun. But the collective readings will go to members only. Okay? As far as the sun sign readings, they'll continue to be open and free to the public. Okay? So it's not like I'm not going to be with you guys. <laughs> I'm going to be with you every step of the way. But we're definitely going to get this membership going. We're going to uh, do some personals. We're going to do personal giveaways. We're going to have lots and lots of fun. So make sure you jump on the bandwagon, all right? Also, collective, I want to talk about your triggers. Triggers of um, um, like that void kicking in, you know? It, it seemed to be like over the weekend, I kind of kept picking up on um, for the collective, like... Um, that abyss energy, usually that ties to like depression or anxiety, um, you know, doubt, fear, things like that. Um, you have to recognize it for what it is. It is what it is. You have to recognize it and nip it in the bud at the door. Okay. So if you're seeing yourself ordering out more or laying around more or uh, your shoulders are starting to get heavy, like you feel it getting ready to come check it at the mother loving door. Okay. Um, deep breaths always helps me, you know, take in the light, expel the dark, take in the light, hold it, expel the dark, take in the light, hold it, expel the dark. That works for me. Deep breaths has always been uh, something told to people to for to like enhance their calm. You know what I mean? But if you do it with intention and purpose, it, you will feel your intentions. Okay and live in the purpose. Um, but just recognize it at the door as much as you can. If you need professional help, get it. You need therapy, get it. You need to talk to your doctor about your meds. You don't think they're working. Do that. Be proactive in your development and healing. You're responsible for yourself. Okay? You're responsible. All right. Now, I am feeling funky. I actually pulled the Mystic Martian uh, Oracle for today's reading. Lots and lots of like ET vibes today. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so uh, let's see how uh, where this rabbit hole is leading. Because it's definitely like funkadelic going on here. Collective energy, please. Collective energy, please and thank you. Okay. Collective energy, okay. <laughs> All right, and I have the Ebens, and they're coming in reverse, Andromedans at the bottom. Now, the Ebens talk about mystery, reading in between the lines, and intuition, but it's coming in reverse. All right. When this energy comes in reverse, let me see, let you see the cards. You see how funky they are? I love them. <laughs> but when this energy coming uh, in reverse, that's kind of like what I've been picking up on. It, it's like um, 
uh, just a lot of doubt. You know what I mean? Just a lot, a lot, a lot of doubt. Um, it, it's even paired with a little bit of shoulda, woulda, coulda. You know, like I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just waited. I should have been faithful. You know, it's okay. Where you stand right here, right now, it is okay. You are still under the love and protection and comfort of a most high God, okay, of source. You understand me? With the Andromedans coming in, this is all, <coughs> excuse me. Um, free will manifestation. Okay. It's something like autonomic. Um, mm. you know how we, uh, we, I, if you've had personals with me, I've probably told you, and even if you didn't, even on generals, I'll tell you, um, how to kind of follow up your, what comes out your mouth with a positive. You, you understand? Um, so we'll, you know, as, as humans, we'll say like things like, oh man, I am so lazy. Oh man, I am so stupid. I can't believe I did that. Follow that up with, I'm so glad I learned that now. Oh man, I'm so glad I learned the difference now. You know what? I got a lot done today. You know, follow it up. Okay. Uh, to a point that it becomes your normal. Things that are autonomic are without thought. You know, it's, it's not even like a reaction. It's like your heartbeat, your heart is uh that's an autonomic, uh, thing. It beats without you telling it to, you understand? It just operates on its own. And that's kind of how you want your, to train your manifestations to be out of free will. You know what I mean? To be just autonomically. I am absolutely mother loving, fantabulous. This is the cream of the crop right here. You know, God was showing off when he made this one. Feed that to your spirit, you know, be responsible for yourself, for your happiness, uh, for your development, for your edification, be proactive in this thing. Okay. There's nothing wrong with prayer. I'm not saying that there is. I'm just saying that we are asking God for blessings on businesses that we don't have any um, knowledge about or haven't got the license for or didn't get certified for or you didn't go to school yet. You want him to bless uh, you getting the home, but you still haven't worked on your credit. You haven't even looked for houses. You know, you don't even know where you want to live. You know, it, you, we want God to bless the relationship, but you don't even date. You don't even go outside. Like, I'm just saying you got to be proactive in this thing proactive, my loves. All right. So when you're having that melancholy set in like, oh man, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. Then do something. <laughs> okay. I love you. We're talking. Do something. Do something. Okay. Be proactive, proactive. Alpha draconians right up uh, under that. Okay. It's corrupt. It's unethical cults. Why? Because the enemy is busy. The enemy is so busy right now. That's why uh, when the awakening had took place last year, it's a, it was like a mass awakening. I mean, it was a shamalama mother loving ding dong. But if you would notice, even on like social media pages, people are talking about um, the development of others because of the awakening has to, um, it, it, it struck some fear. I ain't going to lie in the, uh, the ones that have been in control. So they know they now have to activate, which is why things have been going crazy. They had to activate and get stronger because as our light gets stronger, it starts to reach source and it, mm, see y'all ain't ready for all that. As the vibration travels, let me tell you, Cause we snitching, we snitching. You think I won't tell God on you? If you harm me or try to harm me, I'm going to, well, are you kidding? I'm snitching. I'm telling you now. Yes, I am. I'm telling. And they know that this energy is vibing. This energy is growing. So yeah, they are getting scared. Why do you think, uh, you know, they try to keep us heavy. Why do you think food and water have to be involved to keep your energy heavy. That's the thing because they know if, if the energy travels, then yeah, we snitching. <laughs> yeah. Everybody ain't ready for that. That's all right though. We're going to do, we're going to do this a little at a time, a little at a time. 
Center, please, for the collective. Center, please, for the collective. Thank you so much. Look at that. Nine of Cups in reverse. Oh, I'm so uh, unhappy. I don't have nothing. I don't know what I'm going to do. Look, all the confusion. See, that's what I'm talking about. Guys, you got to check this right here and right now. You understand me? Speak it out your mouth, okay? Speak it out your, speak your, your uh, uplifting out your mouth. Claim it for what it is. I am not going to do this today. I'm not going back down that road. This thing is not going to beat me. I don't care. Get off my back, you dirty demon, and go back to hell which you came. I'm going to live my life. I might not know how or what or when. I might not know, but what you're not going to do is get a free ride here today. No, we're not doing that. I'm telling you, speak it. Speak it. And then go outside, get some air. Take in that light. Take in that divine source of light and expel that darkness. Crown this energy, please, for the collective. Guys, I'm telling you, God is listening. Queen of Wands crowning. You know why? Because you need to pull down from her. She has so much confidence. She has so much passion. She's focused. She's hardworking. This is the only queen that will challenge the empress. I say that all the time. Not the queen of swords, not the queen of pentacles, and uh, not the queen of um, Shamalama Ding Dong cups. <laughs> but the queen of wands will call the empress out and say, come on, heifer, come on. I take you on. You know why? Because she believes in herself and she knows her title does not equate. It don't matter to her. She don't care who you are, where you came from, what you got. She don't matter what set you claiming. She don't matter, okay? Don't matter to her because she's she woke up a winner. She knows she looked in the mirror and she said, I am the cream of the crop. What did I just say? Didn't I just say that? Tell you, I'm telling you, claim it. Claim it, guys. Let me see what's coming with her. The Ten of Swords, backstab, betrayals, heartaches, Everything that's behind you. Ooh, message. Everything that's friggin' behind you in the past. I don't care if it was five minutes ago. Well, you don't understand, Green Eyes. It just happened. I got to take a minute. Okay, well, it's been a minute. Next. I ain't saying this life don't hurt, y'all. You know I know about some pain. I wouldn't be able to talk like this if I didn't. I done been on the floor, shoot, and got comfortable, okay, and got comfortable, but today is not that day. What's working against the collective? Please and thank you. What's working against? I want it all. Yep, give it to me because we need to know. The Eight of Cups, how to walk away. How do I walk away from blood, sweat, ears, and tears? You know how you do it? You do it without looking back. You do it with looking towards the sun. She is walking away towards the sun, towards the better, towards the brighter. That's how. What else we have here? The queen of cups, the seven of cups again, hierophant, king of swords. Okay, so let's talk about marriage. Let's talk about life. Marriage, uh, transitioning, as far as life when I said that. Uh, like people who lost loved ones, things like that. There's something else here. Hold on. Um, let's, I'm going to just generalize this to relationships, period. All right. Let's just generalize it to relationships. Um, if you had or are connected to. A situation that you felt was for you, your growth, your edification, your learning, your happiness. It's like the more you learn, the dumber you got. You know what I'm saying? You ever have moments like this? It seemed like the more you know, the less you know. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> That's a story of my life. You understand me? I'm trying to tell you, but I'm trying to change the narrative here. Um, but yeah, sometimes, especially those that are experiencing spiritual development, it's like the more you know, 
the, 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 the more unsure you get or insecure you get. You know, um, when you have moments like this, facts always uh, stick to the facts. Stick to what you know, okay? And speak that truth. Let me tell you what an honest answer is. I don't know. That's a very honest answer, and it's a complete sentence. I don't know. I respect I don't know. I don't like it, especially when you're asking, you have, a, you know, it's like when you're maybe fussing with your children. You know, why'd you do that? I don't know. Well, what was you thinking? I don't know. But I had to respect it. I had to respect it. Or I'll say, no, you thought you were going to do this and that, then that. And you thought this, this, and this, and then that, then that. You know, but as adults, you know, if somebody says, I don't know, you have to respect it. Because even if they're lying and you know they're lying, they're not ready to face it with you. That means at that point, it's, it becomes between them and God. It's no longer about you. See, once you ask the question, why'd you do this? Or why is this happening? Or whatever the case is. Even when you're asking yourself, why would I do that? I don't even know. I don't even know why I did that. That You, you say it. So you can't get mad at somebody else for saying the same thing. That means that that's between you and God at that point. It's your point. That's a pivoting moment for someone to develop, to either continue on the right path or continue on the wrong path to continue covering the lie. You know, you with me? Now, um, for this energy here to work against you, what I have is the Queen of Cups, Hierophant, Seven of Cups, and the King of Swords. This is an energy of, you know... I, People still in the process of what a, a proper way or a truthful way is to actually just love themselves. You know, um, that's really not something talked about in a lot of uh, homes. I personally never remember speaking to my mother about how to love myself, ever. I was taught how to show love, you know, how to cook and clean and what's uh, ladylike, things like that. I was taught those things, what proper respect was, you know, speak when spoken to, um, but never uh, us taught to express. But I come, you know, some of us come from a different era. It was just different back then. You know what I mean? Um but today, life has changed. The energy has changed. There has to be an outpour. There has to be, um, so you have to proclaim who you are and stand firm in it because the, the whirlwind and the shift, kind of like I think with Libras, uh, maybe about a week ago, I said, you're standing in the eye of the storm. Don't move. You, the world is going to twirl around you. Don't move. And that's kind of how this feels. It's when you, if you see all of this chaos and foolishness around you, you and, and it's not directly affecting you, then don't directly affect it. Sometimes your instructions are simply to stand in your truth, in your faith. And it would be automatic. But there's doubt. And when there's doubt, you have to pull down from that queen and get some of her mojo, her confidence. Like, what am I doing worrying about something that like is not even on my plate? Why am I worried about what you eating? Ho, oh, message. Why am I worried about what somebody else is eating? Or why am I worried about what somebody is going to serve or what, you know, my, my situation is going to be? I mean, two, three months from now, there's a difference between planning and really just freaking out and anxiety. You have sometimes you have to cross the bridge when you get to it. You can't spend your journey worrying about the stability of the bridge. 
you'll wear yourself out by the time you get to the bridge. And that's when it feels like everything is falling apart because you've exhumed all your energy worrying about the bridge. I'm just saying. Three of Pentacles is coming in with that. Some of you have resources that you don't tap into. You have resources, you have access to information or assistance that you're not tapping into. If you've been telling yourself um, you've been wanting to get back into therapy, then do it. If you've been telling yourself you've been wanting to call such and such, just to hear their voice, talk to them a little bit, maybe get some feedback, do it. You know, if you've been trying to start your business and you just kind of don't know where to begin, I said before, go to the bank and talk to the, the make an appointment, talk to your uh, bank people. They work for you. Once you get an account, that, that becomes, you have to go in there like that's your bank. You know, and I know this because I had to do it because I'm telling you, I was clueless. But it was a step by step. First, you do this, then you do this, then you can do that. Then you, I'm like, oh, okay, great. Thank you. Cast energy, please. What brought this on for the collective? Where is this coming from? Magician. So Aries, Aquarian energy there. You might be thinking in the past, like you started manifesting. You know, magician is a manifester. Magician recognizes uh, that they want something and they start utilizing tools to get it. So you did, you started out in the right path. You started out like a really strong, you uh, were tuned in uh, with the most high. You started working with things, you were doing it, okay? Three, you started utilizing your resources and then all of a sudden, and I think it's honestly because of timing here, it's um, lack of, what do you call it? Like divine timing. You understand? Like for you, divine timing has taken too damn long. Okay. So it's like, okay, I did this. I did that. I did this. Now, like show me my manifestation. I need what I asked for. Where are we going with this? Future energy, please, for the collective. Future. Justice. Shamalama ding dong. Yes. I love the balance. Libra energy. This is what we want. Balance. Especially with emotions. Especially with emotions. Because when your emotions are in, in alignment, you can think clearly. You can think logically. You're not operating off of pain. You're not operating off of fear. You know, you're, you have those things in check. Because they're still in you. But you check them. Check them like a mother lover. Uh, for some of you, this is going to be a redistrib re redistribution. Am I saying that right? Yeah, redistribution. I have to say that. Um, so if you do have, um, no, it don't smell like legal matters. I would say legal matters because that's what that represents. But that's that. that it that, it smells like um. Mm. To be honest, it smells outgoing. Out. Am I saying that right? Outgoing. Yeah, like it smells like return to sender. That's what it smells like. Yeah, it's outgoing because I have to pull it back to smell it. So it's outgoing energy return to sender. Maybe somebody got mad when you started doing you started doing you and somebody may have wished something on you, you know, and it kind of triggered that energy triggered an old a part of you for whatever reason or maybe they were, you, you picked up their vibe. Like this person really isn't happy for me. You know, I'm not feeling no, that support and it, it triggered something old in you. Whatever the case is, go forth, you know, go forth because there's nothing but greatness and new beginnings coming. You even have uh, new emotions coming in here with the page of cups. So a new emotional offer or possibly an apology. Okay. You expect this with that three of wands. So you actually know who, forever that's resonating for who I'm talking about or what it is. Either way, there's a victory for you here from this fight that you're number one, learning to fight the, the, the one inside of you, the fear, or anxiety or whatever, different levels of you, you're learning to fight. Okay. You call judgment on those things and any conflict around you, you're calling judgment on that. Basically the goal is absolute peace. There's the money. I told you I'm t it's a divine timing thing. That's all you have to know. 
in this season, in this cycle right here, right now, this is all about divine timing. So the new job, new business, new house, new car, blah, 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 whatever. You know, you're going to hold it in your hand. The Ace of Pentacles is tangible blessings. You're going to hold it. Okay. You have to know that. And don't feel bad with those. See, this, that, that's what I'm talking about. That's the, don't go back to that. See, now you get the blessing and you're still crying. I'm so sorry, God. I'm so sorry. I was, I don't, you know, I should have, I should have been more faithful and, oh, I'm so sorry. And, you know, I don't know why I freak out all the time and get over it. You, you know that you have been more than blessed thus far. You know that you've been through, but you've been covered. All right. So it's your responsibility to balance your responsibility to balance when that mother lover tries to knock on your door, that fear, anxiety, depression, the enemy, the old you, whoever don't matter to me, pick one. Okay. Take your time, breathe and know that it's going to work out. All right. Know that it's going to work out and then get to work. Do what you can to, you know, basically expedite it because you're going to get what you need when you need it. Six of Pentacles here, manna. You see, you're getting what you need when you need it, but you look at it like, but I want this and all I'm getting is that where is my fruit? The fruit is not ready. That's how you're looking at it. And if you continue to do that, you will self-sabotage seven of swords. Okay. Which is not on your divine path, which is why it always seems like you take a couple of steps and get stuck. And that's, you're not stuck. Listen to your intuition. Sometimes the time calls for you to simply stand in faith. You still operate in faith. You are, Now, am I telling you to quit your job? Don't play with me. You know damn well that's not what I'm saying. All right? You know you got bills. You know you need food. You got your family. You got your, your personal expenses, whatever the case is. You understand? Logical thinking. Logical. This is for those that are in that melancholy and trying to figure out, you know, why am I feeling like this when things were going so good? Divine timing. In your mind, you were supposed to do this and that, and then that would bring this and that, and then you could do this and that in your mind. But they say, if you want to make God laugh, tell him what you're going to do, right? I'm, it's a common saying. Okay, let your hold on to the fact that you've already been guaranteed victory. You've, <laughs> yeah, that was big. You've already been guaranteed victory. That's why it's becoming like, um, it's like, uh, you know, annoying to you that you smell so much success in your future and it's like you can't grab it but you feel it. You dream about it. It's in your blood. Your blood smells it. Like, you know, I am um, going to be this and I'm going to be amazing. And none of that has changed. It's just that you're watching the clock in the calendar and it's messing with your head. It's making you feel like, well, maybe God forgot about me, you know? And that's not the case. You're not isolated. You're not forgotten. You, you, you're not orphaned. Okay. Five of Pentacles, you know, but you say maybe your finances are strained. Okay. But you're still the star. Look at the favor. Oh, and mother loving G. Let's see. You're going to blow up out of nowhere, out of nowhere. Star energy is limelight energy. It's being center stage with that light shining on you. And the most high says, go ahead, do your thing. Let me see. And you just perform, baby, with all of your heart. Like Eminem say, you get one shot. <laughs> Do not miss your chance to blow. <laughs> Balance, okay? Healing, even with this star. And then the clarity comes in. That divine knowledge is coming in, okay? Past life assistance coming in. Also forward moving uh, energy coming in with that six of cups. But emotional stability, okay? Because your new beginning has to first start with you healing 
It has to be. I'm so sorry. Even temperance, when the angel pours into you, it's midway the journey towards the sun. That's when that angel appears because sometimes midway the journey, you get thirsty. You say, I didn't gave all I got. I don't have no more left. So this angel comes in and let me restore. Let me replenish. Let me give you a drink so that you can continue on. But you're continuing on celebrating in a balance of that four of wands energy, celebratory energy. Okay. Energies of coming together, energies of leveling up and you're still on your way. That's the great thing about that. But you can start to see things turning in your favor with the wheel of fortune. Okay. You have a whole new perspective of the midway journey. Whereas though you used to look at it like I'm not done yet. You're looking at it like, man, this is going to be so great when I get there. That's the freedom and independence uh, that life will give you. In the middle of the storm. In the middle of the storm. All right, guys. That's enough for today. I love you so much, and I hope this helps. If any event, you say green eyes, I don't know these damn aliens. I don't blame you. <laughs> Check out your sun, moon, or rising signs, okay? Um, but don't take the energy if it's not for you. Leave it here for someone else. Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It is absolutely free to do so, and it does support the channel. Remember, collective readings as of June 1st are members only. Leap of faith, you get two a week. Uh, boomstick energy, we're going to do it every day, baby. Yes, poom poom energy, I'm trying to tell you. Um, listen. We are all perfectly imperfect. You keep pushing on, okay? I'll talk to you next time. Bye.